Okay, guys, we are going to talk about sketchbooks. Now, these are a few, and I'm talking about a few, of Miss Lawson's sketchbooks. Because we are going to be creating ours in a different way this year. So, um, let me show you a few. There's, you know, this is a smaller one. This is my current sketchbook. Um, it doesn't have to be big. But, again, oops, upside down. It's just an idea to show you of things I use my sketchbook for. So, um, doesn't have to be big. Um, so this is a sketchbook that I've actually made out of an old um, book I took apart and some other book papers and just, I binded them together. But um, it's just a bunch of random papers from other books. So I kind of like to, I mean, there's a lot of pictures of my house in this one that I like to paint and draw, but it doesn't have to be beautiful paper. It's just a bunch of random paper. Sometimes I write in it. Sometimes I just paint. Sometimes I practice things. So sketchbooks um, are, are a place for you to explore color, to explore drawings, to explore ideas. It's a great way to um, to do things, paint, drawing, without feeling um, like you have to. Again, I binded this one, so I actually sewed it together. Um, so that is like a handmade sketchbook versus one I bought. Um, this is a different type of handmade sketchbook. It was just old papers that I kind of didn't know what to do with. And I kind of put them together and then filled in the blank spots with other drawings. It really doesn't fit together, not like the one I just showed you. So it's just random things um, that I have working on. So a sketchbook can be homemade, but it doesn't have to be super fancy like that one. It's just a string. Um, I didn't sew as much. And then you have your ones that, um, I mean, this is the one I get from Walmart or something. But again, exploring color, um, art supplies, just things. Um, your hands are great models because your hands are always here. So one hand you use... Um, you know, hold and one you draw with, different colors. Um, so that's a great thing. Art supplies are a great thing to draw things in your closet. Um, plants. So you can always find things. Sometimes I stick the picture of what I was looking at while I drew it. So shoes, it's always got flowers. So sketchbooks are a great way to just uh, get out of your head, don't think too much, um, and practice some things. So that was um, chalk pastel, so I had to cover it up so it doesn't smear. But colored pencil, picture of Miss Lawson. So understand that as we draw, oh, that was again another picture of me, um, me and my kids on the first day of school last year. So as you draw you've got to just not worry about what it looks like because sometimes uh, look at that I mean it doesn't look right that happens you've just got to understand the reason we do this for a sketchbook because we're not posting it I used um Paulette the pink puppy I don't know if that's the name of the actual book but that was a character and characters in a book I use that for ideas um purses jackets oh there's my son's coloring and drawing so you've got to understand you can use your sketchbook. Um, this was an example of what kindergarten did last year to um, draw things around you. It doesn't have to be, that was at the pool. I was sitting there with my kids swimming. Pool underneath the umbrella. So please understand the sketchbook is just to um, get ideas and practice. It may not look beautiful, but it is your sketchbook. It is your idea. One couple rules, we don't rip papers out of our sketchbook. Um, you can mark it off. You can cross it off, but we don't rip. But you are going to be working on your own sketchbook, and that's what we're going to go over now. 